It's Wednesday, my dudes. And tonight, our guest had so much fun on his last visit, he invited himself back. Who does that? But we're happy to have him. So tonight, we welcome Art with Toys. Give him a great big ahoy ahoy and bring back that crackhead energy we had last week. Because who the hell knows what's going to happen tonight. But we're all going to do it live. So roll that intro, Machu. I'm not writing intros anymore. I'm just doing them live. I'm just I've been telling you that since just... episode one. Well, you know what it is? It's like I tried to like work things in and like make them really personable, but forget it. Now it's just going to be crackhead energy, ahoy, ahoy, and here's our guest. Actually, that's next week's intro. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Ahoy, ahoy. Crackhead energy, here's our guest. <laughs> anyway, it uh, it is Wednesday, my dudes, and uh, welcome to episode 66 of Between Two Sentinels uh, with art with toys uh and of course i uh, i am jay shot and uh the one who's with me now is machu toy but um first of all hi how you doing machu i know that you know we've got our our guest is like really itching to get on so i know i, I want to make sure we bring him in quickly i've been i've been doing some hunting because yeah apparently the mezco turtles are not enough <laughs> for nobody for, for nobody, nobody. mezco um, turtles are not enough for nobody so. but I I did manage to get a few things. Shout out to our buddy Sean, um, mm -hmm. who helped me out with this score. Are we going into our halls or? Are we, are we uh, we, I mean, edge? like show show off your score, your your big score, because this is pretty impressive. I know that we've got other things that we can we could show off, but yeah, let me, let me give you the screen here. Look at that. I love the box art, dude. The box art is so nice. I actually have those BK tapes, like. Really close by too. I have it. It looks really yet, good. As you okay. can see. Um, and then you got the other thing that I am really excited for. I got boxes on top of boxes here. I yeah, I tried to open some stuff up and organize it for me. So. Oh, these look so good. Oh, they come with grocery bags too. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, they look so good. And they look so good. And I don't know if you can see it, but like our buddy. Uh, is oh. listed in the credits. There he is. Designs. On designs. That's right. Yeah, I remember him showing. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. He showed us the uh, the concept art a little while ago. So um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. We got some other stuff here to go through, but uh, maybe you know, maybe our guest wants to to help us with that. So uh, I think we should just welcome Art with Toys. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. What's up, Rick? Yo, I'm Art with Toys. <laughs> What's up, Rick? How are you? <laughs> you? You flexed so hard, you took Machu out of the stream. I don't know what happened. I know. So, uh, uh, but uh, hey, dude, how, how are you, man? It's it's been a while. You know, we we chatted with you on Migos last week. How's it going? Yeah, uh, just taking pictures, going to the gym. <laughs> you know, look at Swole. Yeah, Swole as hell. Oh, Go to gym, work hard, gym tan laundry. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You uh, you know, I was watching your YouTube video of the, the hour long turtle thing, man. Like that was pretty impressive. You got some great stamina. I like turtles. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is what happens when you invite yourself on, Rick, and oh, then you say God. you're gonna be late. This is what happens. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I'm changing. I, I, yeah. I don't have a good impression. No, it's so good. It's so good. They, that was perfect. They shot, sprung this on me very I last did. minute. Like, <laughs> was, yeah, right down was, to the wire here. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta edit name. I'm not, I'm not fake Rick anymore. All right. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> why why you do that? These comments are amazing. <laughs> Toy Chase immediately didn't realize because he was like Rick. And it's like we had Josh wow. going into whoa. Uh, Winger Lose clearly didn't see last week's episode of Migos. <laughs> yep. uh, oh, wow. You look so different. Damn, Rick what looking happens crazy. You Jim so much, you know? <laughs> Revenge of Adam. <laughs> uh, Rick moved to DVs. <laughs> the 
next? The, the straight up the greatest part of this is that I am only on this show crashing other people's streams. I I think that's how it should just be from now well, on. Yeah, moving forward, I will only be I will never be the actual guest. No, I will but I only be here to crash other people's streams. I love that. And like by the end of the, like the whenever this show decides to run its course, you will have the most screen time because you will just keep crashing everybody. That's, what I've, been, that's what I've been aiming for. That's why I go to the gym. We're, we're at episode 66. <laughs> yep. so, I totally are, missed the... There's a yeah. few more episodes to go that you might want to crash. That's oh. true. You want to you wanna crash episode nice? Oh, nice. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. A few more episodes for that. Every Ed, you know that every time that Kyle is on, I have to crash it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You know, pay, <laughs> pay back for the wedding and COVID. <laughs> back for Rick's running late, so we had a Rick impersonator. Uh back for us. <laughs> There's Rick. Sorry. Now he's got his hat on. There's Rick. Rick's yeah, back. I, <laughs> I, need a, I need a camera and some tangible props. <laughs> tangible props. And some dioramas. Yeah. <laughs> He's just using the glass brick. <laughs> the glass brick. <laughs> oh, God, that's so good. Um, but you and I, before you jumped on, we were talking about WonderCon. You got WonderCon coming up. But you're you're just going to WonderCon? You're not, you're not yeah, repping well, at WonderCon, we, had, right? uh, we just did, uh, speaking of Rick, we just did the, the Wade show last night on, yeah. on Paralleled Universe. And, yeah, the whole the whole Wade crew was going to WonderCon. Nice. Uh, starts on Friday, but... Brian and uh, Wade are driving down to LA on Friday, and they're actually going to come. I'm I'm at work, hence my background yeah, yeah. here. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they're they're going to come by, and Rick's going to drive over and meet us, and I'm going to give them all a tour of the studio. We're going to go yeah. get some lunch, hit a toy store, and then yeah, all four of us will be at WonderCon on Saturday, wandering about. Nice. What? Um. How how far away is uh is work from like you know san diego comic-con well san diego is like in, like no traffic like a two-hour drive oh, okay. from la thereabouts but WonderCon is in in anaheim, anaheim. that's right and in no traffic that's like 45 minutes but okay all of this is uh, like no traffic and, and yeah. the whole like you know california socal it's like <laughs> yeah traffic. no traffic's I, a thing but like, I was, we, luckily, it's, a, it's also a, a holiday weekend, you know, uh, yeah. with Easter. So yeah, maybe traffic won't be so bad. No, I was thinking like when we're out there for San Diego, can we come swing by see General Giant? But maybe oh, for next yeah, next no. Designer Con, you know. D yeah, Designer. Well, Designer well, Con, I think the next one is in Vegas. So that's true. that yeah. will be difficult for you guys. Yeah, uh, that'll, be a lot, that'll be a longer drive. Yeah. If you so. if you fly to Comic Con, if you if you fly in early, you could fly into LA and then tour and then mm. like drive down to San Diego. Or something that's that's, an, that's option, really. an option. Well, yeah, yeah. This that's is because you know we didn't. I still have a job, and I haven't been fired for live streaming while I'm. Well, at. then get off the live stream so that I'm we can prove I we can prove Chewy right for, for a few minutes. Hopefully we could can... pull the real art with toys. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. What well, I'm saying, we could prove Chewy right. We could prove Chewy that we're right in waiting to buy our our tickets because oh, he, okay. you know, you know, he had to buy them back in like December, and we're like, yeah, we're gonna wait, and now we might have an opportunity. We fly into LAX, fly out of San Diego. Get to go see, you know, Adam yeah, I or mean, Rick, depending on what personality shows up that day. So yeah. we never book our I things mean, early. Could, could, we could don't. Be both, you know, could be both. Could be Where both. You go. Yeah, yeah. Could be both. For this shot, I use. <laughs> I don't know. I, I love you. Like a the the glass part? thing. Yeah, <laughs> the glass thing. It's so good. It's like wait. Um, it's like this. It's like I really like Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about Diddy? You know, Rick. I, we about talked it? about that for like a hot second at the end of the show last night. It's like, uh, woo, he's, in, he's in some hot water. Anybody check on Mace lately? Is Mace okay? That's it's funny because like that's I I said that because like Brian you... loves Mace, and I was yeah. like, oh, Brian's boy. <laughs> you know, he's walking with the limp. We know that, so uh, ain't nothing changed but the limp. Um, 
Who would have thought Diddy? Man, um, um, I'm not surprised wait, about Diddy. How, Machu, how how did you how did you score NECA target stuff before Holocon has even started? Do you oh, like know a guy? It didn't yeah. start yet. No, oh, it's I thought it, I thought it started. Yeah, people I've seen people all over the place with their stuff. No, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Not it's officially. technically supposed to start, I think, tomorrow. But like a lot of places have stuff out. I've seen people with like literally the full halls. I so. feel like that's that's trouble, guys. That's leaked merchandise. I mean, people are people, heads are gonna roll. <laughs> I mean, you didn't see nothing. I, I like turtles. Yeah. yeah, they gotta watch the stream to know that we got. It. That's true. I will say though that I w I went hunting. What was it? Was that Monday? That was Monday, Monday. right? Yeah. And I think I went to like six targets on the sixth one, which is like 20 miles out. I saw the NECA boxes. The guy was scanning all of them. I ran to go get a cart. So happy. I'm like, yes, I found them all. Like all the individual turtles too. The guy's like, I'm not putting these out today. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Somebody just slip them a fiver. So they they are well, they are street dated. I, I just watched. I think it was Nostalgia Unboxed or something. Did mm -hmm. like a, he did Mikey comparison, yeah. and I was like, "Damn it! Do I do I need do I need these? Like what? Yeah, how many sets of turtles? I so many. I said that. I said that when I first bought the the like disguised turtles. I was like, cool. I don't need to buy another set of these. Six sets later, yeah, yeah, and that was just NECA, not even you know, that was before Mezco was a thing. So, <laughs> look at Pla look at Plasty. Dang, Rick has never looked this gorgeous in his oh, life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did Rick say how long he was gonna be? We might just need to change the uh title card, the title, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did he did he actually say he was showing up or did I just <laughs> yeah. totally take over his stream? I mean, he said he was gonna he was gonna be stuck in traffic, so I have no uh -huh. idea how, how much time uh -huh. he needs. Send him the I link. Said, take you your can, time. You I did send from... him the link. <laughs> no, send him the link and call it from traffic. Send him like he didn't like you didn't send him the link. <laughs> what do you think of DK? <laughs> Forget to send the link. <laughs> DK, I will say you guys, you guys and Rick did a great job on Toy Migos uh -huh. last week. Um, Thank, obviously, you. Thank you. Obviously, uh, it was probably one of the most popular episodes ever. So wow. Ernie and myself are quitting Toy Migos. <laughs> oh, we're not even going to bother doing it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if Ernie knows that, but hopefully he'll <laughs> find out. I mean, we but, can. Yeah, he streams done. tonight too on somebody yeah, else's show. Do you yeah. want us to pop on and tell him that he's fired? I don't, you know, yeah. it's fine. So. <laughs> well, like, like, like fired, like, yeah. you know, like yeah. art with toys. Right. Like. <laughs> yeah, art with toys. Yep. Oh, my God. Right, go um, yeah. Art with toys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the head, like, yeah, going in. <laughs> oh, um. What are you working on? Is there anything you can uh, you can tease without oh, getting in trouble? You can't about ask Ray. Hey, I'll get on. I got to ask. Yeah, I have stuff. Like I, yeah. I, Winger Lou has already pointed out that I've covered he did. up my whiteboard behind yeah. it. Yeah, I have stuff just like over here. This light here is my photo booth. You know, <laughs> one of the world famous whiteout photo booths. Right. Mm -hmm. um, my the one I use most of the time is actually at home, but I have it over here, and there are projects in it. You absolutely are not allowed to tell. <laughs> just give us, just give us, just just tilt the camera a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're 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 already skirting that line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he... live streaming from work. Oh, no, no. He is. No, I get it. I've done it before too, but nobody cares where I work, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm in like a corner by myself. Yeah. Nobody knows, but. Um, the chat is going nuts for you. It's, it's pretty funny. Oh, um, <laughs> it's great. Adam, uh, didn't you want to already, <laughs> already left the Toy Migos show? <laughs> uh, uh, <yes. laughs> yeah. M multiple uh, times, actually. So. Yeah. Yeah, Plasti, we figured, why not? Let's give Adam a little, 
a little play, a little, a little, uh, a little payback on this one for sure. I didn't um, realize. So Rick, I love, I love Rick's impersonation of me, where it's like, yeah, we worked on that, like one hundred percent spot on. But he, the the drawled out way of speaking, it's like, damn, do I do that? Like, do I take twenty minutes to say a sentence? I guess so. I, I mean. Maybe. <laughs> I love I love that when you can like you laugh at yourself, but then at the same time yeah. you go, do I actually yeah, do is that, that? Is that like, accurate? Is that, is that real? Yeah. That's not real, right? Like I don't do that. I will say Rick did tell me, and like the the part that I appreciate the most is while he was doing the impersonation of me, he actually also stuffed a sock down in front of his underpants. <laughs> so <laughs> m- much credit. For, for that level of uh you know just getting into yeah it, hey so. he is a he's a method actor that is yeah. uh that is you know much like ricky snicky uh rick is a, a, me- a method I actor i so. watch that I have to watch uh about you winger lose wants you to show your receipts i mean so. i actually got <laughs> sean actually did give me the receipt for these. oh good there you go there i mean go. he gave me the receipt for nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> I did get this in today. Well, What's yesterday. That? Oh, you got the uh, oh, the Catwoman. That focus boop. There you go. I have a very love hate with Revolt Tech in general. Um, I, know. I I buy the 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 My Hero stuff, mm-hmm. but and I actually I just got the My Hero eraser head. I haven't even opened it yet. But I will say every picture that I've seen of her, she looks fantastic. I just yeah. it would be I wouldn't. I don't really have a spot for her, you know, like she would be kind of by herself on display, which I guess might be okay. That's okay. No, I think she deserves her own spot. Um, yeah. She moves really well. She's got good face plates. You can move the eyes. The only thing I was not really like keen on was the wired whip that they gave us is a little bit too smooth and a little short. So I got one mm. from Duart Studios. Oh, nice. Custom whip. So. And it's textured, so it, it actually goes with the other pieces that are like supposed to be on attached to her hip. Okay. So did uh did he also give you the nene or is that sold separately? <laughs> I come fully packaged with the textured whip as well. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, that uh she doesn't I, seem too gappy either. That's one of my complaints about Revoltech is like that's yeah. true. And it's like she looks pretty good. It's also mostly black, the outfit. So yeah. it hides in the. She's you know, got the, the thing, Chamba and I complain about this all the time, though, the, the ice cream scoops for the knees. A it's bit. not too bad, though. Does it's she not... have knee pads there? Hang on. It's not too bad. Yeah. And it's it, like it's, it, it's it kind of knee pad. Well. Yeah. I don't mind that as much. Yeah. It's when it's actually like on Spider Man is where yeah, I really better. didn't like it. That's better. So you like you oh, can yeah. like push it back. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I could live with that. <laughs> I've come a long way since the Revoltech Joker, I think, is the last Revoltech that I bought. Mm-hmm. Oh. I bought oh. like I speaking of how old I am. You really didn't I, like that Joker, huh? I had some of the the original Revolt Tech figures, like you know, like Vash the Stampede. I think was one of the really early ones. But yeah, I bought all of them, and it's like that started my weird love hate of of Revolt Tech in general. I just like they that line has just it, it's evolved since the early days. But for so long, they were just insistent on that the clicky ball, and it was just. Mm ugly and things used to pop apart when you would mess with them like they would slowly like you know because like it was a ball with pegs on either end and there was nothing holding like the limbs to that ball so you would be bending it and it would slowly be coming apart and it just wasn't fun to play with looked Mm. cool in poses would look cool in photos like when you could hide stuff but it just wasn't like a fun toy to mess with this this one's fun yeah, was, uh, they've definitely come a long way, and and some are still amazing. Some I'm just like, eh. yeah. that looks like pretty damn good though. Duart wants to know since you come packaged with a a, a whip, is it ribbed for her pleasure? Well, He's asking just can, for friend though. 
D- DM my wife. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. The man gave you permission. He gave you permission. <laughs> uh, and report back, Duart. Report oh. back. So, um, uh, I will say though, Matt, seeing how you post her like that, where she's kind of got it holding over, her, I now want a uh, what you call it, um, Batman Returns. Oh, that woman. Michelle Pfeiffer. Want, yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer jump roping. Now I want that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't like no good. Like obviously they they have like hot toys. Did Michelle Pfeiffer? But like yeah. that's it, right? Like it's yeah. Like, no, I mean we haven't even like have we even gotten a penguin like a Danny DeVito penguin or? I saw one figure. I forgot who made it though. Well, I know Neca had like the quarter scale. Yeah, for a while. quarter scale Neca. I don't know if I need. That's like is that one to one for Danny DeVito though? Is that that's. Oh. <laughs> He's diminutive. <laughs> My grandfather was the same size as Danny DeVito, and I loved him dearly. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, let's see. Uh, Toddy Mac needs to save the day, Dom says, uh, giving us a uh, – what's called there? Uh, I, don't, our, I don't think Dante Batman would agree. Returns. He would not agree. And um, Manby, oh, Manby's voice says, what a twist. I jumped ahead. Sorry. Cap Liv says – uh, Mattel did return. Yes, Penguin. Mattel did. I yeah, think. I, I, that How long ago? Isabel. Uh, I did not buy that. No. I saw it at a show once. I think uh, me and Yimbo were talking about it. Hmm. I think it was right around the time that the Mezco uh, 89 dropped. Got and we were it. like, oh, we could use that for shots. And I'm like, well, you could buy it. I don't think it looks that great. It's like if you want a <laughs> shot of like a really good figure and a McDonald's and then, Happy Meal toy, right? In the same <laughs> shop. Happy Meal toy. I would love. Actually, I would love some Batman Returns Happy Meal toy. We were talking about that on another stream. I feel like we brought it up. Uh, Steve Mars says he saw one the other day. Mezco posted Beetlejuice trailer. It makes me wonder if they'll do. Hundred percent. I think hundred percent. We're getting a a yeah. one twelve Beetlejuice. Fingers crossed. A good Beetlejuice. Like it's like I would. Mezco is who I want, but it's like even whether it's Mezco or NECA, you know, yeah. like someone just needs to do a good Beetlejuice story. Well, Mezco already has the uh, rights for Michael Keaton, mm-hmm. so we'll just roll that over. Yeah, and you they know, did. Uh, didn't they do Beetlejuice like Living Dead dolls? Yes, yeah, I something? think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So yeah, we can see that. Toy Chase says no dad, no Toddy Mac, please. <laughs> No Toddy Mac. Uh, oh man, Beast Boy, you missed the beginning of the show. Where's Rick? 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 He's Rick's. Oh, here's Rick. Rick's coming back on right now. There he is. So, you Rick. just missed Adam. Now you missed Adam. <laughs> oh, you should do like the like go go down and come back up. <laughs> it's like oh, uh, Rick. Rick's in the wine cellar. <laughs> oh, there's Adam. Yeah, there's Mr. Rick. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, the, the Mattel Penguin came with a flight stand. Oh, yeah. But why? Now I vaguely. Well, because he's floating with his umbrella. Because, you know, now yeah. I want Danny DeVito to say, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Um, so. <laughs> this is great. Um, you're, you're, big, uh, you're a big Legends guy. What did you think of the, the couple of Legends reveals we've gotten this week? What did we get revealed this week? Uh, uh, the uh, extra the heads. Headset. Extra what? heads for um, the oh, shield three pack. <laughs> the shield pack. Uh, hold on, wait, wait. Is Rick doing my impersonation of me? Uh, we we worked on those. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. It wasn't cool. really a reveal for me. Uh, I was uh, I was I would, I was very excited for those when we were digitally sculpting them. Nice. So yeah, I, I pre-ordered the shield back. Um, yeah. I don't care at all about Nick Fury Jr., but the uh, the, the classic Fury, Dum Dum Dugan, and oh, then Sharon Carter is gonna be cool. I'm yeah. hoping that the blues on Dum Dum and Nick match up with the Maria Hill and Quake, because oh. then you could have like a nice little shield yeah. display that we're kind of growing. And yeah. you got the shield, the shield agent pack too, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I already ordered that, your set, by the way. Jason. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was going to ask you about that. I'm the, and then, I'm the well, third see. party art with toys. <laughs> the extra white Rick. <laughs> okay, um, for sure. 
Um, I knew nothing about the hip hop. <laughs> the kids with the hip hop. <laughs> mm. God. Um, that's cool, though, that you actually worked on them. The Dum Dum Dugan yeah. looks great. I'm excited for the Dum Dum. Um, love me a good Dugan. Uh, I, uh, I, I think he got enough screen time in the movies because I actually really love that actor, too, that plays him. Yeah, um, Dum Dum's uh, is classic, and night you know, he has been around forever. So, yeah, having a yeah. legit, ver- and it's funny too because like the, this is a more how old I am. We actually worked on the old Shield uh, pack that was a, it was a two pack back in the day. It was like Shield agents and hand ninjas mm-hmm. for uh-huh. like the, the dark days of Hasbro <laughs> Marvel Legends, and it was reusing the old. Uh, Toy Biz face off Punisher body, and then it had new heads, and we had sculpted those heads to work on those bodies for Hasbro. So, Cut it. yeah, dumb dumb second time <laughs> around for us, dumb dumb two, two times with the dumb dumb. Uh, Bad Force calls you the 5k toys, Rick. I like that. I'm okay, I like that better than third party, yeah. so I like that better. Love me some um, 5k toys. Loki says, I could play dumb dumb doing it if they recast him. I choose to take that as a compliment. Uh, so hopefully that's what it meant. And, uh, you know, I will, uh, I'll, I'll play him. I'm happy to play him. I'm happy to play dumb. I'm happy to, I'm happy to be invited anywhere. Low key. I'm, you know, I'm just like, I'm just happy to be, just happy to be a part of this. Um, and Cap Lib says, on oh, today's segment of how old is Adam? This is his second turnaround on <laughs> dumb, dumb doing. <Dugan. laughs> Indeed. Exactly. <laughs> I do. I obviously I'm at work. I have to wrap yep. up. For go, my man. Day. Go. Yep. Go. Uh, yep. I, I love you guys. I am Appreciate happy you. To, to, to crash as many um, behind two Sentinel streams <laughs> as I possibly can. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys. At yeah, man. And uh, hopefully uh, Rick gets home from hopefully. work or whatever soon and, and actually yeah. joins his own show that he <laughs> invited himself he invited to, himself to right? yeah. yeah 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 that's it so we gotta get uh, d blakes to make a uh behind two sentinels behind just for, two a sentinels. one of one a one of one with, and just with adam out. face on it though it has yeah. to have oh face. i love yeah. it 100 even, even better so all right we'll see you in three episodes uh for episode nice all right rock so, and roll hey thank you adam. <laughs> look at that he comes with balloons he comes with his own balloons and whips so yeah. Right, speaking well, of whips, uh, by the way, yeah. speaking yes. Of, speaking of whips, uh, so Duart told me that uh, he does have this on his website for sale. Oh, cool! That's yeah, good. And you can use the same code. Just send it for free shipping, or if you free spend sh- over a hundred dollars in items, you get free shipping. Perfect. Yeah. Just send it free shipping, and uh, mm-hmm. over a hundred hundred dollars in items, you get it. Uh, and uh, there's what you call it too, right? I mean, uh, is he does he still have uh, Street Fighter dials on his up there? Uh, or? Well, the the cutoff date. The pre- is I know past. the cut. I know the cutoff has ended, but you know sometimes people don't pay for them or what happens. So you know. I mean, he's working know. on the next on the next projects, which working on the next seen, ones. I have seen, can't talk about which I won't talk about. But since we are talking Street Fighter, um, I did get a package today from Dig Space. So very excited for these. Um, got my my Dalsim and my M Bison, which you've already gotten. I know it's okay, it's okay. Uh, but I'm really no, nope, I'm really excited for Bison. So um, yes, we may have to have a show on a Tuesday just so that we could talk about this figure. So <laughs> I wanted to take a picture, but I wasn't sure which one I can put. Like you know, to use that caption. To me, it was just you, Tuesday. It was just another Tuesday. Yeah. Poor, I, I, was, I was actually, I went into a deep dive about him the other night. I don't know why. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I can't remember his name. I can never remember his name. Raul uh, Julia. Actor, Raul Julia, who played uh, M. Bison, passed That's away cool. after shooting that, that movie. Um, and uh, he was shooting like with 110 degree temperature or something like that. He had a fever mm-hmm. and just... <laughs> That movie, man, is so, you know, I think part of what makes that movie special is uh, is you had, like, so many conflicting things going on, right? You had him, who was handling it like a real professional. Right. And then you had Jean-Claude Van Damme, who was on a $10,000, apparently a $10,000 a day cocaine fiend, and they had to switch 
shooting days <laughs> around for him. Crackhead so energy. you had, yeah. So it, uh, yeah, that's right. You know, crackhead energy, man. Go out there and get it. Um, but speaking of Street Fighter, and to keep going with uh, talking about making D Blake making some signs, um, I apparently picked up more signs than I think I ever have from D Blake, and some of those are the versus and knockout uh, for J O Street Fighter, along with just the fight fight and uh the classic street fighter sign so i'm excited to work those into there uh also picked up two new x-men signs unintentionally um but if you have watched the episode today this one i realized is uh someone sent it to us i don't remember who said this is the um this is the one that's actually on a lot of the cover art for our box art for our figures so it's closer there is it? Yeah, like if you look at the uh, some of the other figures, but um, oh, I have your figures in the car, uh, and I have your Deadpool sign. So, oh, okay, there you go. But uh, this was this was the crown jewel of the D Blake make signage, mm-hmm. the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, movie, the movie. I think the movie poster, yeah, yep. art. So this is really really cool uh, to get this and. Uh, uh, I got one more thing today that I'm really excited about that I did want to share. Um, I'm, apparently, apparently, I'm on a Super 7 kick. So, you know, there's all kinds of NECA turtles coming in, and I've got Mezco, but I did get the Krang Android body. Oh, wow. Came in from NECA. Uh, NECA came in from Super 7. He's uh, huge. And I am pumped to open this. Yeah. He is like, you know, and this is what we've ta- always talked about, right? The Super 7 making the better versions of the Playmates figures. This is like bought this figure on pure nostalgia, but uh, I am, I'm excited. And one of the things that I love is if you look really closely, I don't know if I can do this. Look really closely at the detail. The heart. Hold on, let me give you. Yeah, give me full screen there. The heart, where the heart would be, is a hamster wheel with a little hamster in it. And I just, I I love that. I love that because that fits right in with that cartoon mythos there. That was going on. So, um, but yeah, so those were those are some of my big hauls today. Well, what uh, what'd you get that you want to show off before besides your four pack? Um, well, I showed off the Catwoman, which I keep playing with. I like I was gonna get I was gonna do a Street Fighter shot, and then I opened Catwoman, which was a big mistake. Oh, and then that was it. So yeah. I showed yeah. off the Batmobile that I got from ToyCon uh Yimbo stream. That thing is ginormous. It is ginormous. Nothing like Jean Claude Van Damme playing an American soldier like barely sounding like he can speak English. <laughs> That's part of the charm of that Street Fighter movie. Oh. I, I kind of <laughs> want like a highly detailed figure of him playing Guile. Definitely. Definitely. Right? Um so I canceled I canceled my Entertainment Earth pre-order of uh-huh. Amondo Batman because Oh right, because you picked up because I got Toy enabled Earth. by Toy Earth. Yeah. Uh for this Mondo Batman, which um I've been debating and uh mm-hmm. debating on what Mondos to buy. And I feel like going down the Batman animated series route over the X Men road would be cheaper mm-hmm. because I don't have to buy a whole team. I don't sure. know. Sound off in the chat that. if you think that's a that's a fair, fair, fair uh, a fair statement. <laughs> uh, that is. You really I, like the X Men ones? Yeah. Uh, C. Mar says, "Isn't someone making a Jean Claude Van Damme Bloodsport figure? They absolutely yes. are. Syndicate Toys or yes." I know yeah, it's Syndicate something. Because we saw them, they had a uh, preview of them in San Diego Comic Con. Mm-hmm. I guess what we'll need to see is if you can swap the head. Right. And with then also, a, uh, Jada. I think, yeah, that, that too. But also, I think, uh, isn't uh, Diamond Select also making a Bloodsport figure? I don't remember. I could no. be wrong. I think he was on, I saw it a pre order on BBTS. Yeah. Dink's face, uh, Let's see. Uh, you got you got a couple people who responded to you here. 
That's a good route for Machu. Uh, from a good route to go, Machu. Solid plan from Bat Force Grumps. Bat Force might be, you know, Bat Force might be a little, little, little biased, little biased. But it's true because I mean, you know what? It's I think I think this next comment really hits it. But the villains. So yeah, you don't have to buy a team, but the Rogues Gallery. Yes, that is going like, to come. I, I mean, if they yeah. do come out with Robin and Nightwing, I'm going to definitely buy them, right? Okay, so now and you're Batgirl. Out, you're, and Batgirl. But like, but like, there's it's a larger team for X Men, and then the villains for X Men, right? Like, yeah, if I buy like, the team, I've... they need they need to they need they need somebody to fight. But it's easier for me. It's easier to pass on like Avalanche than it is Two Face. Yeah, but are they coming out with an avalanche? I don't even. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's saber tooth, though. Uh, yeah, saber tooth. That saber tooth. What up, RMD? Um, uh, Dom says Diamond has a figure and statue coming out soon. Uh, which Rose Gallery may burn you eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I am passing on the Man Bat. There, I had two options at Toy Con with with Toy Mirth and Lago, both trying to sell me. Yeah, the man that figure, and I'm just like that thing. Well, that because huge. our hall was, I, I couldn't, I couldn't fit that in the car. Yeah, the thing was because with because we also had Yimbo in the car for a little bit too. We did. So we did. that that, that, that I, thing had a Danny DeVito size wingspan. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, and not Danny DeVito making a wingspan. It's like if you lay Danny DeVito down. It, yeah. So, um, Capsule says he de he decided to go down the Wolverine and the X Men route for Mondo. That way, I'll never have to buy any because they won't get made. Oh, I see what you did there. You went down the. the I thought you meant like you're going to get Wolverine and the X Men. You're saying Wolverine and the X Men. That, that in, show. That show. I okay. Yeah. All right, clever, clever. You got me on that one. You yeah. got me on that one. Uh, what about the Cyclops with the Ruval jacket? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's gonna if he's gonna have to get the Cyclops. So I might have to. I did give. I did give my. X Men '97, Marvel Legends Cyclops, some toe hinge. Oh, you did? You cut that up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then you have strike Mondo Spider Man is X Men adjacent. Mm. Yeah, so, but it's a good thing you passed on. Is that. he gonna move like a, how a Spider Man should? I don't know. Is Danny DeVito standing? Uh, if it's not low key, I think it needs to be. I think it needs to be. We should start saying it's two Danny DeVitos high. Uh, that's about sixteen Danny DeVitos away. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Isn't he like a um, meter? That's not an American. Meter? That's, a meter? Yeah, he's, a, he's like what, a meter. What country in, are you like, calling in, in from? In height. Well, um, I'm going to Canada next week. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You want to you wanna start to get that going. Going to Toying Around uh, yeah. Con. Toy Con. Toying Around Toy Con, which looks awesome, by the way. Um, yes. Uh, very jealous. You're going to get to meet. Uh, you're going to meet Paul, but at least you won't be leaving the show to go meet Paul and not telling me. Um. We could so. have done that because they were here in New York. They didn't tell like us. Day. They didn't tell us. They didn't tell anybody. But they didn't like tell anybody. I was that, that same day I was thinking about going to Tamashi. They right. didn't tell us. So Toy Rensu says he'll see you there. Yes. yes. I get to finally there. I get to finally meet Toy Rensu. I missed him yes, last year. So uh Henrock is checking in. Henrock, we missed you at uh at Toy Con last weekend. So no. um uh I, I saw him the following. I saw him on the Sunday when they were. Oh, you know, it's, oh, you, I didn't think you went on Sunday. You did. No, I didn't go to the show. But they oh, you went me to go to get sushi. Ah, you went to do art and got yeah. sushi. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, um, but uh, let's talk Toy Con because this is apparently is uh, between two sentinels without art with toys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as we're as we're forty minutes in already. <laughs> I can send them the link though. I, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, ToyCon New Jersey, which is the infamous uh, ToyCon that, like, I, you know, I, I credit for starting all of this, really. Um, you know, we uh, is the one that we met Yimbo and Toy Father and uh, No Chewing a few years ago, along with Toy Addict, uh, Frank, Realm with Toys, uh, and a couple of the other guys. Um, we met at we met them uh, a few years ago at that ToyCon, and it was the... I it was know, a fall ToyCon. Fall Toy Con. Yes. Um, so I guess this was our third or fourth Toy Con going to. Um, and uh, so. what? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, yeah, I remember, I what was it, 2021 that we went to a Toy Something Con? Like that. We just yeah. stumbled upon it. 
We just right? stumbled and upon like, it. Why is there a huge line? Yeah. Toy, yeah. Are there cupcakes? And they're like, no, it's a toy show. And I was like, oh, oh. all right. Somebody uh, was trying to sell me a major blood. That was out of their trunk. That was so good. That was like the peak of uh, of scalping. <laughs> yeah. So, um, did you guys pick up the Daredevil two pack? Yes, Matt did pick them up. Um, I don't know. I'm digging him. I'm digging him. I get what you're yeah, saying about the white good. teeth. The teeth freaked me out though. I get it, but I like him. I think he's cool. It seems like a watered down Yimbo. <laughs> Not now. Yimbo got his hair cut. He looks much better. So, yeah. you know, Yimbo looks much better. So, between two DeVitos, I'm a, I'm probably about three DeVitos high, I would say. In heights, not, in, you know, you know, anyway. Um, so, <laughs> meters are greater than inches. Whatever, Plasty. Whatever. It's fine. I don't know. I'm not going to, you know. <laughs> Peak scalping was fun. Dude, this guy was trying to sell a major blood for what? 200 bucks? Like no, 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 no. He was trying to sell it for like over a hundred, and then he knocked it down to eighty because he didn't want to yeah. walk back to his car. That's right, he didn't want to walk back to his car with it. Yeah, yeah. And Speaking back then we were like a hundred bucks. Who's gonna pay a hundred bucks for a figure? You got the Super Seven Storm Shadow. How's have you opened it yet? Super Seven. It's not a Super Seven. What is it? It's a Mezco. Oh my bad, my bad. I thought it was a Super Seven. My bad. No, no, no. Maybe it's insult Mezco. My mistake. Oh. Actually, I don't even think you do you even see Mesco on the box? You only see 112 collective on the very bottom. That's it. He's pretty good. I like it. Uh, but I had to put it back in the box because I was trying to take a shot and then more stuff kept coming in. <laughs> I'm still not yeah. even done with the haul from Toycock. No, no, I, I realized too that um you know I uh what did I, you score? Oh, I scored this uh for the Game four pack with uh, oh, Shredder and the more turtle colored. stuff. Yeah, I mean, are Very you surprised? Brand. Are you surprised? So, speaking um, of turtles, speaking of turtles, uh, it is not just between two sentinels anymore because Rick is here. What's up, dude? What's up, gentlemen? How are you? Real Rick, Hello, this time. Real Rick. <laughs> real Rick. How are you, buddy? Good. How about you guys? Oh, uh, we're Good. hanging in there. You know. We're just doing this little show. So nice, nice. Man, what have you guys? What have you guys talked about? Uh, well, we talked with Adam, who uh, played you for a while. So oh, I can't. Wait, I I can't wait for you to go back and watch the replay. Yeah, um, I also <laughs> you picked up. You. I picked up this pixelated oh. shredder that lights up. Isn't that cool? Where'd you uh, get that ooh, from? That's pretty cool. The same guy who had the uh, what you call it? Uh, the turtle, the turtle pack. Sorry, the light is blowing it out though. But did he um, have any others? Uh, I think just that one. Gene Gray, no turtles though. Oh, but uh, but uh, anyway, sorry, Rick is dude. What is up, man? How are you? I'm good, guys. How about you? Good. We're good, dude. We're I, good. I I apologize. Uh, L.A. traffic oh, is yeah. uh, you know, <clears throat> I was like, you know, at work, I was visiting with a business partner, and I'm like, hey, I need to be home. Cause I had to pick my daughter up at four and then I figured, you know, I'll bring her home and then I'd be yeah. on, on time to, for the, for the stream. And, uh, like we, we hadn't left, you know, where I'm at. I, Sun Valley is like the area near, uh, where Adam's work is actually in Burbank and without, tra <coughs> without traffic, it's, excuse me, without traffic, it's like an hour drive yeah. and, um, in traffic, it's like almost, it's, it's over two hours worth Oof. of drive. Like it's just <laughs> nuts. So. I'm like, you should have just clock like we do. We gotta go, man. We gotta go. <laughs> you should have just went to go visit Adam because he yeah. was streaming from work. <laughs> he was streaming from <laughs> <Yeah>. the office. <laughs> that would have been even better. He's pretending to be you, and then you walk in. Like, Dude, classic. yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and then I fight him. <laughs> yeah, and we just narrate the fight. We just narrate the fight. So, uh, you got a bunch of people that are really thrilled that you're here. Josh Brown, Loki, Loki, uh, Toy Chase is the real Rick. Uh, Kaplan said, but the real, well, the real Rick, please stand up. <laughs> Uh, he's sitting now. He just got home. Cap, leave him alone. He'll stand later. It's okay. Uh, Josh says, wait, where's the hat? I'm confused. He's confused. He gets oh, no hat. Yeah. You gotta put a hat on. You gotta put a hat on. So, uh, I'm blasting commenting. No cupcakes and uh, team meters. No, no team meters. No, <laughs> no, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> Bad boy says, not Adam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but. Oh man! So um, was Adam's was was Adam's impression of me as good as my impression is of him? 
No, no, but it was good. It was good. It wasn't, it was, I mean, like, dude, you had it, you had it down pat. <laughs> yeah. um, and if you guys haven't seen it, go check out. We were on Toy Migos. Uh, we were Toy Migos. They're not dolls on Thursday last week. Uh, where or Machu and I filled in for Ernie and uh, Rick filled in for Adam, and it was whew, it was a lot pretty of fun. astounding. It was pretty astounding. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. um, but uh, but yeah, dude, we're you know, look, man, look, I totally understand traffic. I come in from the city, you know, like I got to take a, a a train and a boat to to get back. So you know, I like literally have to take a boat, not my boat. You know, I share a boat with about a hundred thousand people. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a boat oh, that's share. Crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so totally get about traffic. No, no pressure, no stress, man. Like this is just, uh, this is just We're a just fun night out. to hang out, you know? And Toy Chase said it, dude. He goes, he loved your Mezco turtle review. And honestly, man, that's what I watched today. And that's how long you should tell you how long my commute is. Um, <laughs> I watched that whole thing front to back on my commute. And dude, I have to tell you, I have to commend you on the amount of detail that you go into those turtles. You're like doing things. And I'm like, Oh shit. Is that what that's for? Like I'm like looking yeah. at it, and that's honestly one of my favorite things to do. Like, is when you watch a review like that, you like discover things that you never thought of as to why they're there. And somebody like you who takes the time to really, really, you know, to coin a phrase from our our last guest, dive in um, to these figures. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah, it was um, it was a lot of fun. Like, um, <clears throat> I wanted to do that review. Like, the second I got the turtles, it took them out of the box. I'm like, I. I I got to, I want to talk about them because they're, it's, they're so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I do the same thing, man. I'll buy something and I'll still go watch, you know, a, a review from one of my favorite reviewers just to kind of like get an idea of like, you know, how they see the figure, how they talk, you know, how much they like it, things of that nature. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, uh, it took me a minute to figure out what that little hook went to, but, uh, <laughs> the one that holds the, the, uh, the, the yeah. grapples or whatever, but, um, yeah, it was, dude, those figures are amazing. Yeah. Dude, if it wasn't for your review, like I already had them, uh, I was waitlisted on Mezco, but like, it just took, you know, it takes forever for him to get to, you know, uh, this side of, of the country. Um, but I heard that they were coming to certain retailers. So after watching your review, I was just like, I know Yimbo knows a guy who owns a shop that has them in this week. So I went out and drove like an hour and 45 minutes each way just to mm -hmm. go get that. Because, because I was like, I, I need these in hand right now. Yeah. Yeah. They really did a good job, man. It's like, it's unfortunate sometimes when like promo promo art drops and you know yeah. people will get like a uh, an outlook <coughs> excuse me of like what the figures are gonna look like yeah and then you know obviously as they go into production and they make the changes and then the the actual product comes out it, you know it's it's so cool and then the people that you know judge you know d uh, decided if they were gonna purchase or not turn it down based on the promo images and then it's like. It's like I was joking. I go, I, I, I feel like I see people like willing to give up their kidney for for a box, of, you know, for a set of these turtles. I only uh, have one left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bat Force confused me, so I've got to read this out loud. Uh, Rick's Adam is better than Adam's Rick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, bro. <laughs> um, let's see. And you got Cap Lewis says Rick's Mezco turtle review had me interested in the set. Uh, Plasty says Rick walking in on Adam doing him, which sounds in its own right. Uh, seems like an SNL parody. I think we need to get that going. So, uh, I kept watching Rick's short review while I waited patiently for my <laughs> thanks, Adam, and thanks for, for joining in the beginning here. Yeah, um, uh, Adam and Rick filming themselves, filling themselves up. He's <laughs> like another kind of parody. I think we should do that. It should be like the um, the rock and uh. What's this, Kevin Hart, right? With Kevin Hart like, yeah. in each other's uh, TikTok, we should do that. So, um, I, and uh, and I, even Plasty giving you another shout out to the the Rick is the best he's seen yet. So. Oh, thanks, Plasty. Yeah, dude, I've told Adam what we need to do is Adam gives it on a Toy Migo Toy Migos uh, stream, and he's talking about his haul. And I come wandering in aimlessly, like looking around. <laughs> and then I'm in the back and I start <clears throat> taking toys off the shelf and playing with them. And, uh, you know, just to see what people's reaction would be. And I, what, who's that behind? Who's that behind Adam? 
<laughs> we we got to make it happen, Adam. I don't know if you're still in the chat, but we got to make it's it gotta happen. happen. That's got to happen. It's got to happen. I think it's it's absolutely got to happen. Uh, Adam is now going to be, though. So Adam's been on a couple of times, but he's never been on as the main guest. And we're just going to keep that going as well. So Adam's just going to keep popping on different streams. He's going to be our uh, our Kramer. He just shows up, does <laughs> yeah. his thing. Well, he, and out, he really so. can't. He really can't carry a stream, you know. Like <laughs> he kind of. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna beat me up on Friday. When he's he's gonna walk in now. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, <laughs> he still has the link. Yeah, he does. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> so I did want to ask you though. You know, you you had mentioned in the. Uh, he's, this is Rick chilling on my casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you did take a, uh, you, you mentioned that you took like a seven month hiatus from doing reviews. Was that intentional? Did you just need the time back or were you just like, none of these figures are worth my time? <laughs> no, it just, um, I think like my main thing is taking the pictures. I like to, you know, sure. I obviously like to do the toy photography and I was struggling just like, you know, just with a lot of things that were going on, you know, a lot of, you know, adult type stuff. Sure. Um, you know, work mainly. Let's just call it what it is, work. Yeah. Uh, it ruins everything. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Not, nah, but, uh, you know, I was just trying to just do the pictures and I just really didn't have time to, to jump into the reviews. Um, but it is something I, I do like doing, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of told, you know, my family, I'm like, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't just, I got to get away from, you know, work keeps me from doing it. I just need to find the time to, to make yeah. it happen. So, um, you know, I definitely want to continue to do more and more videos, like not even just reviews, like mod, you know, the mod videos or mm -hmm. um, even like stuff I've already modded up or customized, you know, showing that off in the in the video, just talking about what I did or my thought process. Um, so, yeah, I, I plan on doing more more videos. Nice. That's good. Anything like, you know, and, and look, dude, you know, the reason I ask is, you know, because because a lot of us struggle with the same thing, right? Like sometimes you just need that break, whether it's a mental health break or, you know, work is getting in the way and stuff like yeah. that. And, you know, I just like, you know, if you're willing to have the conversation, we get to to have that conversation about it. not that I'm saying you need to. But, um, so, you know, it's just like sometimes it feels good to hear other people going through that stuff. Oh, yeah. But yeah. like, you know, man, like you you came out like, you know, it's like, hey, I took a seven month review and, uh, you know, I took a seven month break and uh, bang. You know, not only did I eat one out of the park, it went into a field goal, which ended to an extra point. You know, like put all the sports analogies into one. Um, yeah. that, that video just crushed it, man. Like that had a that coming back that had a feel good. Yeah, it was cool, and it, it was it was pretty neat to see the um, the response that I got from it. You know, for the few days that you know it was kind of new or whatever. Um, you know, the repost and the shares, and um, I think the video did like like 1300 or 13,000, um, views. I, and I haven't checked it recently, but it was up there. That's and, really um, you know, considering like, because I took time off, you know, and everything, my, my subscriber count wasn't like, you know, it's not high. I just, I just passed a thousand, which, you know, I, I, if I'd kept consistent with it, I probably would have been there a little, you know, a little while longer ago, but, yeah. uh, it was just cool. Like, you know, word of mouth, uh, definitely helps out. So it was, it was cool to see people like, you know, enjoying it. And I was worried because I was like, oh, it's an hour long. Like, you know, are people going to not want to watch it or, you know, whatever. But I kind of felt like an hour was a sweet spot because I didn't yeah. want to go too short and, you know, not do the the set justice, you know, right. because of how cool it is. But I also didn't want to I didn't want to drag it out too long to where, um, you know, people wouldn't want to watch it. That's why I threw the chapters in, too, you know, so like, you yeah. could skip that's, around. That's helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, th I think that like, um, especially for a set like with that much stuff, an hour is really good. And I think also because a lot of people were waiting on getting these, yeah, that, you know, watching somebody else going through all the stuff is super helpful for when they actually do get it in, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, like when you're doing the reviews too, it's um, yeah. You know, I was talking to to Wade about this. Like, <coughs> excuse me. There's some planning that goes into it. You know, because especially with something like that, like when you're reviewing one figure, like a Marvel Legend, your your purchase is probably usually going to be the same approach. But then when you're talking about four figures in this massive box, you got to start thinking about like, you know, is your review space big enough to hold the box? And then, mm -hmm. you know, showing the people the what's in the box. 
but there's so much contents, but you don't want it to run too long. Like I heard books say one time, like if, you, if, uh, if you're talking about the box for longer than 30 seconds or something, I'm out or whatever. And I'm like, you know, so I'm like, you know, you know, you don't want to spend. And I did that one time. I spent a lot of time talking about the, uh, when I did the, uh, modular Iron Man, I spent, I, I, I'll admit, I spent a little bit of time talking about the box because <laughs> it was just so cool. Like how different mm-hmm. it was. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, at the time when I launched the video, I was going to put chapters in it anyway, just in case somebody wanted to skip that part. And I, I didn't, I, I put the video out and then I didn't put the chapters in immediately. I ended up coming back and doing it later. Well, the entire time that there were no chapters, people were like too much detail about the box. I'm like, I know <laughs> I'm putting the chapters in. So like when I did this one, I made sure the chapters were there. So people wanted to skip around, you know. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think you went too detailed into the box. You talked about the cover art and the size and the mirage. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's a nice box. People take time yeah. with a box just as much, but um, you know, I did want to look. I mean, I want to give you credit. Like, I you know, I think that you're right with the hour length. It is a sweet spot, right? You got, by the way, you got four figures, right? So you spend at least twenty minutes on each figure. Yeah, you know, so like there you go, right? But, uh, that's even longer. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, I don't math right. So, but yeah, I think and it was you, did, you did a great job. It's bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haters so. gonna hate. Forget him. Forget him. <laughs> So, hey, Matthew, uh, in in, uh, in honor of the Toy Amigo stream, when you showed off your your two pack box set, I, I came oh with the, with the Bret the Hart shirt. shirt. Look at nice. that, old school. <laughs> That's nice. I dig it. I dig it. It's a good. It's a good shirt. Uh, Adam says I don't have Rick's big arms to carry stream. So that's uh, <laughs> he's got a big <laughs> heart though. He's got a he big does. heart he and does. a big something else because he said he stuffs. Um. Papa Cat says, Machu Toy, I hope you enjoy that uh, Justice League Ultimate Batmobile. It was nice. Oh, meeting yeah. You. It was so. great meeting you, and thank you for hooking me up with that deal. Yeah. It, uh, uh, John the Ross says, you all, the replacements, were great on Toy Amigo. I like oh, that. I like you. that we have a team name now, the three of us. We are yeah. the replacements. That was a good uh, movie, stay- too. was a good movie. Stay tuned for the next podcast, uh, the replacements. <laughs> so. We need to sign a we need to sign it's, disclosure saying, anytime Ernie and Adam can't make it, <clears throat> We fill in. Yeah, we fill in. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I feel like we're gonna get called up a lot. Uh, Toy Box of Doom says, "Hey, all you cats and you cool cats and kittens, and uh, don't forget, I am gonna give them a, a quick shout out." Uh, Toy Box of Doom. Uh, Toy Box of Doom is part of. I hope I'm getting this right. The, the Nexus Collective, uh, and uh, I I have donated some of my blackout uh, <laughs> blackout purchases from Legion's Con. Uh, oh. So, oh. Yes, I remember yes. that. Yes. Uh, I don't know where the other figure is, but there's another figure that goes right here. Here it is. Um, I'm there, if you uh, go back, check the rules. I don't want to get anything wrong, but uh, you can potentially win these two bad, uh, bad boy Cosmic Legions. So, ooh, you know, if you're interested, ooh, ooh, check them out. Go get them. They are good. They're really good figs. I just have extra because I blacked, you blacked out. out. The blacked out made purchases. Yeah. So uh I don't know. I just like woke up and was like, ah, where'd my money go? Uh Brady Jacobs saying it was an awesome review. Uh Wade gets mad if you tell him he talks too long for the box too. So they you know go. What'd be funny. I always thought this would be a cool thing to do for like a reviewer. You know how people get like sensitive about you talking about the box too long? They should do something like remember the old eighties commercials when they would show like a uh, like a like a dessert? They should do that, like where it goes. It, let's cut to the uh, details of the box. Box details, right? <laughs> and you just see like the camera scan across corners, flat corners. surfaces, plastic. Yeah, and it's just camera like seductively scanning the box. It's just Bullets. like words, oh, detail, <laughs> barcode, like, close up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the real subscribers stay for the box details. So says Omega Weapon Thirteen. So, um, showing the box is usually is really usually later if they are bootleg. <laughs> All right, well, okay, I'll take that. Uh, and apparently, I still screwed it up. So, uh, Bad Force Grump says the collection nexus. What I said five demerits. Five. All right, five points from Gryffindor. Good luck. You uh, like, uh, like Yoda. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I just yoded it. We just watched Bad Batch, so 
Um, which if you guys, I don't know, man, I don't know if you're watching Bad Batch. I'm going to try to do this as spoiler free as possible, but like, I don't know. I'm assuming we're all newer on diversion on this, on this, on this live stream. And most people are on the thing here. This nine episodes in was the episode where all the neurotypicals went, Oh, M count means midichlorian count. And I was like, Oh my God. Like, was this <laughs> supposed to be a reveal? Like we all knew this last season. Like what is happening? So I, I still haven't finished the last season. Well, if I there said I to you they're in blood, they're they're transferring bloods and looking for M count, you would go, yeah, right. Yeah. Like because you've seen Star Wars before, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, sorry. I need to watch rant. the second. I, I didn't even watch the second season when the third season came <laughs> out. I was like, they made a third season already. <laughs> I like the first yeah. season. I just got I I need to get around the watch. I really like the first season a lot. Yeah. First season was great. First season was great. They have been trying yeah. to capture the first season since the first season, and it's not working. Uh, Cap lives. If you didn't know that M count and midichlorian count, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like if that's the spoil, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So, what else did you think it meant? So, what's the star? What's the Star War? <laughs> I bet my Wookie. <laughs> Oh. Go, go figure uh, go has a, a nice uh little compendium of what star war is yeah yes yes go check the go figure go out episode and he will he will uh fill you in on it uh don't just put that down like we didn't just see you playing with your angel pick that back oh. up show it off show it off because i haven't gotten one yet yeah they haven't yeah, I opened, I have, yeah they haven't sent me mine i opened him the other night um look at that wingspan yeah he's half a, it's half a danny devito Damn. Look at that. Yes, you have to make the noises. <laughs> yeah, it, it's cool. And the details are really nice too. And there's like a there's like a subtle wash. It's like like it's just perfect. Like the way they did it. It's not too much, you know, and it and it doesn't look plain. Figure's cool. I mean, there's some familiarity to it, but it's basically like on the uh, the Vulcan body, right? Yeah, yeah. just with no with no butterfly, with no butterfly. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying that they can't figure out a way to get butterflies in there. I, I feel like we're at a point in the world where if we could program computers to think for themselves and teach themselves, we can put butterflies in a figure that has wings. I, <laughs> I agree. I no, I, yeah. I agree. This is a solid argument. So I get on it. So. Um, Kaplan says he knew what MCAT was. I was gonna, I'm not gonna spoil the season, it's fine, I won't spoil anything. Uh, figure report says, Hello, my good friends. If you saw a video for today, he is hanging out in the uh, he put up a video about him hanging out in the uh, what's it called the, the not the Mall of America, what's the mall, the American Dream Mall? With the, oh, god, yeah, so yeah. and uh, Plasti really going, going nuts here saying F metachlorians and inches. So, you know, all right, Plasti, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking the bait on this, all right. Uh, ask my wife what my metachlorine. Oh yeah, uh, figure report actually mentioned to me at one point he had a low metachlor metachlorian count. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Sorry to I hear that. Underwear was too tight. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make a pill for that. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Go. Uh, <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Hims. Uh, <laughs> get your medicine discreetly and uh, monthly. This yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by your. Your local gas station uh, performance enhancing pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See a doctor if you exceed. See a doctor. Four See hours a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, says I told you that in confidence, Rick. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's all right. Well, it's okay. Only you know, not many people watch this show. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, it's such a low count. I'm surprised he has confidence. That's well, you know, it's uh, and and hey, if he's you know, maybe maybe a future episode will will be like Rick and his wife will be late. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Rick, that was too easy. I had that one lined up. Um, what is uh, now this whole thing? I'm is a gonna bad go. run, man, because I was like, I, I, I've was, heard <laughs> eating, I was late on um, uh, the show with the uh, with Pablo and um. One six shooter and all those guys. Same oh, thing. My. They, 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 they do they do like um Eastern Standard Time. So yeah. um they, they go they go on early, uh my time. And then 
Um, I was going to be late on the show, the Toy Migo show. I, I got in just in, you know, I got on there just in time. And then I was late on the Wade show last night. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a, it's been a rough dude, run. <laughs> dude, it's okay. It's okay. We're right. happy for any time you're willing to give us, you know, as, as long as you have fun. So, uh, uh, the low minute clearing is eating too much yellow five. <laughs> <laughs> and figure report says I buy my pills solely from Elon Sleeves Bagano. <laughs> <laughs> and we've uh we've we've said the we've said the name to Amigos three times now, and they, like Beetlejuice, have appeared. So uh what it, what is going on, Amigos? Uh, this is their fault, by the way. This is their fault. This, this is their trio fault. right here. This is their the, fault. The replacements, the replacements as we will now be known. Uh, you know, so <laughs> it's uh it's completely their fault. So so um, yeah, like typically when I'm on Toy Migos, <laughs> we talk about our haul. Yeah, what'd you get? Right. What'd you get? Ah, a little Jean Grey. A little Jean Grey. Nice. Got a little Magneto. Uh, thank I, you, you Migos. The, uh, incredibly, thank you so thank much, you. man. Like we appreciate that. So, Bob, we'll give a good read. Jeez, what? And the Machu Machu man and Rick. What up, guys? Appreciate you guys always. And. uh we are ready. We are we're standing by. Happy to fill in whenever you need us. Sorry, Rick. So you got a little Jean Grey? I got my my yeah. Jean open actually. I, I don't know. Right here. Yeah, yeah I picked up. My, I picked up the little Magneto. So I heard this figure is good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty surprisingly pretty, pretty moving well. Um, the proportions are. I think they're better than the the Mop X, actually. Okay. You know, it's it was a, a little. It's a uh, sore topic when comparing, you know, legends to Mopex. Right. Um, nice. Um, did you guys watch? I don't, I don't know how much this may be one of those like spoiler zones here, but did you watch 97 yet? The episode today? Not yet. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we, won't, we, won't, we won't talk about it yet. We won't, later, we won't spoil later, it. Hopefully, but later we'll but get it in. We won't spoil it, but like, dude. Cyclops was like, look at me for two episodes. And then I was like, Cyclops just did what? So that's all I'll leave it at. Um, anyway. Oh, but okay. uh, yeah, I was I was a little disappointed in our boy Cyclops this episode. Dang. So, yeah, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If, if, he, you uh, were, if you were to rank your top three greatest X-Men. <laughs> you're not going to like my ranking. <laughs> what would your What would your top three be? I'm going to go solely off of the cartoon because that is like my base. That's where I started. And then I went into comics solely off of the cartoon. It's going to go morph. Oh, Cheney's going to fight you. I, uh, Cheney threw me off his show once because I said this. It's fine. We just got uh, negative $20. Right? <laughs> we just lost $20. <laughs> he just did a refund. <laughs> uh, it's going to go morph. It's going to go. It's going to go Wolvie and it's going to go Gambit. Okay. Top three. I'd replace Morph with Cyclops and Gambit then Wolverine. I'd go Wolverine, Storm, Ooh. and Gambit. I with Nightcrawler or close three. Or close four. Ooh. Nightcrawler's a good oh, yeah. Night Nightcrawler is a good one. I'll uh I I Cheney, I'll 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 give you uh tomorrow on uh on your I'll I'll super chat. <laughs> oh, um, Cap Lib says Cyclops Storm Nightcrawler. It's a good call. It's a good, it's a good, good call. Good three. Good. It's a good three. Um, and this Storm figure is pretty good too. But I will say yeah. Magneto. Magneto was probably my favorite villain. Like Magneto was my favorite villain through everything, mm -hmm. and it's like he's not even a villain. So I don't know. Can I throw him in that top three? I guess I could, right? Yeah. So. So it probably it would probably would go Magneto morph um, for villain Wolvie. No, no, just like oh. top like top three X Men. Okay, Magneto morph. Uh, yeah, I I think that's what makes Magneto so intriguing, right? Because yeah, he's not really doing things with the intentions of being bad. He's just it's, his route to get there is uh, very is extreme. Questionable. Like right, he, he, yeah. he's not afraid to. Do whatever it takes to get to get uh, you know to get you know uh, equality or whatever for the X Men or to fight for the X Men. Yeah, 
uh, he wants what he wants. He's not afraid to, to do what he has to do to get it. So uh, yeah. Bearded Bill's checking in on the Unhinged Crew saying, what up, gents? Sorry I'm late. Guess I'm going to have a little less on my paycheck. Yeah. So that's right. We're going to have to take the $20 from you, Bearded, and I'm going to have to give it back to Toy Migos for my <laughs> – putting morph in my top three uh plasti goes wolverine storm nightcrawler that's a good three that is a really good three uh top villains top villains people top villains people uh i hope you've been villains people not village people give your top five so toy chase are you saying top villains like across history like i could go magneto darth vader Shredder, That's like I can thinking. go that way, or are you thinking just like top five villains in X Men '97? Because then it's like Magneto, 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 Mister Sinister. I don't like. I just you know uh, clarify that before we go on. Uh, we got Bat Force saying Colossus, Archangel, and Cyclops. Ooh, Colossus. That's a good one too. Colossus Colossus is pretty Mr. cool. Sinister. Um, there you go. <laughs> Toy Me goes Wolverine, Wolverine, and Wolverine. And Wolverine. So. Top vil- okay, so Toy Chase said top villains all time. Top villains all time. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Uh, before we get so why we think about that, we've also got Rick Jones saying Kitty Pride, Wolverine, and Storm. That's I like a, that. That's a, a good one. Kitty Pride. I like Kitty Pride jumping in there. Um, all right, top five villains of all time. Do we want to make a collective list and just start shouting things out and see where we put them, or do we want to go one after the other? Yeah, I mean, let's Magneto's do that. Let's do one after the other. All right, start, so I start and no, they're right. not the order we're going in doesn't mean doesn't count. Like okay, we're ranking them, we're just saying here's our five. Okay, all right, all right. So, so all right, so I am gonna go. I'm gonna go Magneto, Vader, um, Magneto, Vader. I'm gonna go Belloc, which is gonna sound funny, but that's Belloc from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh. Uh, Magneto, Vader, Belloc. I'm gonna go Sidious. I'm gonna throw in there too, or you know what? I'm gonna change that. I'm not gonna say Sidious. I'm gonna say Chancellor Palpatine. I'm gonna be very specific about his strategy play. Um, that's four. I can come up with one more. I'm gonna go Kingpin. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be my top. I'm, I'm okay. gonna keep mine to the X Men because it's okay. Like, oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, because my mind is just sticking, like thinking through the X Men villains. Uh, Magneto. Yep. Uh, Apocalypse. Ooh. Mojo. Mojo, interesting choice. Okay. Uh, who else? Uh, I mean, Master Mold, because of all the Sentinels, right? Yeah, I can count that, right? You can, uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, and then uh, Great and Creed, because it because he made Sabretooth? <laughs> no, because it's like he he he's just influencing that uh, mentality in those groups of people who play mutants, hmm. influencing the friends of humanity. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go Vader. The Joker. Who I forgot about the Joker. I don't know how I forgot about the Joker. That's a good call. The Shredder. Okay. Um, probably Thanos. Mm. And I, I think I got to go with Mach- like Machu made a good one. Apocalypse. Okay. This is why I hate going first. There's always so many you forget. So. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I, I just kept mine in one realm. Yeah, no, that's good. That's smart. Um. Let's see. We got some other comments here going. So, uh, Plessy says top three villa people: biker, Indian mechanic, love it. No construction worker. I got it. Uh, Migo says Wolverine, Psylocke, Rogue. That for Ooh. his top three. Uh, mm-hmm. Magneto is not a villain. Inches are more evil than Magneto. Man, you were really like, uh, damn, uh, Plasty. He's really Plasty. Capul Capul says no, no love for Thanos. Netflix kingpin. Uh, I said Kingpin. I mean, you know, you can. He's asking what you want. Yeah. So I would say uh, Kingpin is really good. I do Kelly like throwing said, Kingpin in there, like to have kind of that street level, you know. Yeah. Kelly, like, Kelly said, mom, guy. the mom from yeah. Drop Dead Fred is the best villain. That's pretty fucking hysterical. What about uh, Deathstroke? 
Death Stroke's a good one too. Death Stroke's a good one. Death Stroke's a good one. Uh, you would say like Raiders. He's a cool villain too. Yeah. Betlock? Belloc. I said Belloc. Not Betlock. Belloc. They call him Belouche. Uh, Mr. Sinister. A lot of Mr. Sinister is going on. Uh, one six shooter saying we are the greatest villains. Uh, are hey here. Dudes. We are his yeah. top three villains. Hey dudes. Uh, <laughs> top three. Ooh, Purple Man, uh, which is really good. And Toddy Mac. Love that you're putting Toddy Mac to- together with Purple Man. That is, uh, <laughs> boy. Uh, Rick Jones says Darth Vader, Xenomorphs, 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 Godzilla, Joker, Joker, Jesus, the fucking accent coming out, Joker and Cthulhu. Um, and yes, I could, could pronounce that, but not Ming Na Wen. Uh, <laughs> you just did. I just did. Uh, I was going to mention that in before in Street Fighter, but I was worried I was going to mispronounce it. So, uh, Ton of Toys also shouting you out. Man, everybody's coming in here. Dark Phoenix, one of the best villains of all time. <laughs> Um, Bearded says top three villains: Thanos, Mario, and Vader. Uh, are we talking like, Mario, Mario, Mario? Or are we talking Mario like seven nine six Mario? I just I think he means seven nine six. I just want clarification. Yeah, on he, that. Yeah. he sucks. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Doctor Doom. <laughs> Plassey is letting it just go. Uh, oh, because <laughs> damn it. Uh, Duart, uh, Heath Ledger, Joker, Carnage, and Bane. What's the deal with the inches? I'm what, uh, he's just like I had mentioned. We were talking about using uh, Danny DeVito, Danny DeVito. as the new me- measuring system oh. in America, and uh, you know, he said Danny DeVito is better than inches, uh, but inches, uh, but meters are better than everything else. So. Like, you could be like, um, uh, that tree trunk is four Danny DeVito's long. Yeah, yeah, like I'm three yeah. Danny DeVito's tall. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like that, right? Yeah, because we were saying that the wingspan on the Mondo uh man bat is a full Danny DeVito uh yeah. laying down, so yeah, <laughs> uh, yes, one six shooter. We're talking actually, we're talking villains across the board. Top, top three, I'm gonna go top three villains. Uh, you go top three villains, whichever you want. Um, uh, across the Walmart. board. <laughs> Anytime you pre-order from Walmart, <laughs> you tell speaking me. Of, no. You tell me I'm wrong. Of, speaking of Walmart, uh, Rick, did you get the Walmart Casey Jones? I have not. No, I did not. I missed out I, on it too. See what yeah. I mean? Number I'm, one villain. I, you know, I've 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 pre-ordered less and less these you know these days because somehow I still end up I still end up getting it. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a while there, excuse me, I was pre-ordering stuff, finding it in store, and then I was getting it in, and right. I was ending up with like three or four stuff. And I'm, <laughs> it, it, the cool thing was, I was always able to find somebody that could take it off my hands. But yeah, yeah, I, you know, uh, Toy Chase agrees with you. Walmart is the greatest villain of all. I, you know, I, I missed it. I don't feel bad. I, I'm like I'm ninety five percent Chubsy Wubsy is gonna have it, right? Like, so I'm just I'm happy to support. Yeah, you know, Chubsy Wubsy. We got. You know. We've also got like a really good community that like looks out yeah. for each other, right? Yeah, we definitely right. do. You know, but people know I like turtles, so it works out that way. Uh, Beard is confirming Seven Nine Six Studios is the Mario. He said, Plasti says Seven Nine Six is a great choice. Too close I thought to the gonna chest. Say he can, he's confirming he sucks. Oh, yeah, he's confirming <laughs> no, he's the I villain. Love Mario. <laughs> oh, uh, feet inches are whack. <laughs> Plasti, let it go. Um, <laughs> Danny DeVito Penguin is the greatest villain. He's basically just playing Frank Reynolds. <laughs> See, I wanted you. I wanted we, out. We should do like there should be Danny DeVito's and then Plasty heads. Oh, we could do that. Ooh, yeah, heads. like, uh, like a, he's got the smoothest head I've ever seen. I want to. <laughs> I want to like meet him one day we've, and touch it. We've got to get Plasty on the show. Yeah, Plasty, let's do it. Plasty, you uh, you hit us up. Tell us tell us when you're ready. We got a couple people backlog though. I don't want to I don't want to be like rude. We, you know, we owe Toy Mirth. Toy Mirth needs to be needs to be on here too. Uh, one six shooter says uh, Vader, Anton, mm, Shigra. I don't know, and Sauron. So, oh, I like Sauron. That's a good one. I don't know if I know Anton. Anybody? No. Anton Vanko. Anton Lee. Whiplash. I have no uh, idea. Oh, he is uh what's his name's character from No Country from Old Man. 
Oh, uh, okay. mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you feel lucky, friendo? Yeah. So uh, that is a good one. That is a good one. I don't know if I, you know, is he a villain though, or is he just a he's a guy for hire? You know, just you know. So uh, only you are allowed, Rick. You're the only one who can touch Plasti's head. So thanks, Plasti. When we start when we start saying things are, you know, too Plasti smooth, and it's, it means it's that smooth. You're gonna have to confirm, or it's negative three Plasti smooth. It'd be like ah, it's too rough. So yeah, like man, you know the, the paint apps on this are at least three Plasti smooth. Oh, go. we touch it. We touch a Plasti now. I want it bearded ones <laughs> into. So. Uh, I did see No Country for All Men, man, dude. Cap was, uh, I did see it. The movie was amazing. I just couldn't put the villain's name together, and that is my mistake. It's been a while since oh I've seen, I I seen that when it first came out. Jenny from Forrest I Gump. I forgot about Jenny from Forrest Gump. Greatest Gump. villain of all time. Uh, I don't know the first one. Let's see. Uh, I'm Googling it as we, ta- as we try to type here. Hey, yeah, I'm down with that. You know, like, she, uh, F Jenny. Yeah, like, I don't know if you we could cuss here. So I, I'll you could, keep, at this keep, point you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're late enough for the show. Yeah. We're late enough for the show. Okay. So this is uh, <laughs> this is from a Naruto show that I. This is from Naruto. I do not oh, anime. Okay. I wasn't gonna try to say it. So uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to weigh in on that. But uh, I trust. I trust. So. Uh, oh yes. Hey, whatever. All right. Plassy's on. Plassy's in. So there you go. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nightmare Nemo says, I think Ernie is my favorite villain. So, uh, is he a villain? He rolls up at a random dude and puts a bolt through his head. I was just saying, like, is he really a villain? Like, he's not out to make the world burn, right? He's a a gun for hire. He's got a mission. But, yeah, no, like, like he's a bad dude. i give you that. He's a bad dude. I mean, for uh, all we know, when he's not out <laughs> doing hits, he's at home. He's doing church work. Animals, he's building you know. barns, you know? He goes to that goes- com- he goes to the bookstore and reads. You know, we don't. Yeah, you know. we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So, Plassey says, "Summer from Five Hundred Days of Summer." Uh, <laughs> what's my gen name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, uh, Madrid is from Naruto. Uh, Go figure. Go says Hannibal, the architect from the Matrix and Skynet. Uh, I would go. I would go. Or Ar- 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 <laughs> Uh, 99 problems. Ernie is lethal. <laughs> <laughs> so Boba Fett would be a villain. I don't know. I like, so again, Boba, is Boba Fett a villain? I mean, he's just a try. He's just a guy trying to earn his way through the universe. Bounty right? hunter, you know, the bounty yeah. hunter. It's what he does for his job. You know, like uh, it's, I don't know. These are all things that are great up for discussion and we should continue to shout, sound off on the chat. This is how we keep people engaged and watching like the show. When, like, like when Adam was stripping, he, I didn't see him as a bad guy, you know, because when he was not stripping, he was just a good dude. Like he was, you know. Yeah, you know. And when he was stripping, he was also stripping at, you know, at, at old folks' homes. They need they need love <laughs> too. So, you know, it's, he's doing good. He's doing good. Oh, uh, Catalyst is Boba Fett as a clown. <laughs> For some reason, man, like I mean, it's like a Catalyst is Boba Fett as a clown. And like immediately, the image of Bubba Fett with the big red nose on his helmet and giant feet just like pops up. And I was like, "Damn it, stupid brain!" So I feel like you got to go with that too. Like if Captain right? says it, it's pretty much like yeah. it's fact. I mean, it's fact. So we got to tell that there you go. <laughs> and he's like, "It's a good thing I didn't just build my whole life around this." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toy Chase says the Red Skull. Red Skull's a good call too. Red Skull's a good call. Toy Chase, you know, Toy Chase knew I was going to go with uh, Belloc and bringing up Red Skull. And, you know, Toy Chase is, you know, these Nazis, I think. It's just uh, you know, Nazi villains. Um, not condoning Nazis in any way, shape, or form. Nazis are bad. I want to make sure They're we villains. know that. They make good it's villains. Like Indiana so. Jones, good he film. hates Nazis. Make, yeah. That's right. And snakes. <laughs> hate these guys. I love that line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hate these guys. <laughs> That's why Cap Slip is the man. <laughs> he knows Boba Fett is trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. So um, all right, Rick, what else is going on, man? Like, you know, what uh what else is doing? You got the turtle set in. You're seeing this turtle hole thon. What what are you excited? What's what's the next thing that you're excited for? 
Well, hopefully at some point I'll walk into a target and see the actual turtles as part of the, the new stuff that's coming out as part of the holothon. Um, next thing I'm excited for, obviously we got WonderCon coming up and uh, the, me and the Wade guys did a stream last night. Yeah. We're going to meet Friday at gentle giant and we're going to get a tour, but I've literally done the tour 20 times. So I I've challenged Adam to say things that I haven't heard yet. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's just going to be fun hanging out with those guys. And, uh, you know, it's going to be their first time doing the tour. I know Brian's really excited. We're going to go eat and then WonderCon, man. And like, uh, yeah. I think there's going to be some exchanging of toys. Like I know I'm getting some street fighter toys from some people. Nice. And nice. I got a bag of stuff to give out and, uh, Hell yeah. I'm, I'm pretty hyped, man. I hope, uh, I hope it's a fun couple of days. So how do you compare WonderCon to like a designer con? Like, I don't, I'm sure it's not in the same scale as a it's, San Diego, but. <clears throat> so WonderCon is like, cause the, the same people that do Comic-Con do WonderCon. Oh, they do. Okay. So, yeah. So it's kind of their chance to kind of test out the stuff that they want to take to San Diego. Okay. Um, and so uh, this year, it seems like with what they have planning and the things we've seen, it's going to be a bigger scale than previous years. Um previously like it was you know there was like there was stuff to see and then you have your artist alleys and you have your mm -hmm. vendors and stuff there's not necessarily like the exclusives and all that going on but i'd say it's you know for for us collectors designer con is great don't get me wrong and i love sure. this the last one was probably one of my favorite ones i've ever been yeah. to um this, this wonder con is like it's it's ahead of it though because it just has i think because you know, you know, seeing people is great too, but like it has more stuff there mm -hmm. that I'm interested in. If that makes sense, is yeah. it in the same venue? Yeah, yeah, it's in okay. uh, the Anaheim okay. Convention Center. Yeah, gotcha. Oh uh, yeah, I like that venue. I thought that venue was cool. Yeah, like, it was. Cool it was more. It was small. Like I felt like. I mean, obviously, it's smaller than say you know San Diego, but um, it still like it felt spread out enough, like where it wasn't too crowded. Um, and there was, yeah, and I, I really like designer con. I'm actually bummed that they're moving it to Vegas. I was, uh, I was all set for it to be out in December because I think we're, we got a conflict now between that and Legion's con. And yeah, because I think it's like a, like they're a week apart, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd love and, to be able uh, to do the Vegas one, but it, it would be impossible for me at that time of year because it's, <clears throat> it's so close to Christmas, right? Yeah. If they did it like early November or something, I, I can make it happen, but. I, I think you should come out and do Legion's Con instead. I think you'll enjoy that more. So, well, so the timing with, with Legion's oh. Con, obviously, there's a lot of it um, centered around Legion. But do, is there a little bit of everything in there too? Like, yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. There, okay. there, there's a yeah. there's a lot of like um, artists that also do either like custom head sculpts or dioramas or accessories, soft goods, war figures, yeah. soft goods. Um, you know. Uh, Spiro was there with Awok. Yep. Uh, Plunderlings was there also. There is a, a bunch of other vendors there that are selling, um, you know, not just mythic and, yeah. and cosmic legion stuff. Yeah. Okay. But it is cool. it is a lot of customizers, which which by mm -hmm. the way, it's a lot of customizers like you know, um, and I forgot to shout him out earlier, like Detour, who was at uh ToyCon this past weekend selling, yes. you know, um just really cool, like yeah, magic props that are good for, um, you know, the the uh, the Legion's Con characters. But, like, you can easily translate it, you know, like he, he did this piece, which hopefully you guys can see the detail on, um, like a magic spellcasting piece that your sister actually took a really good shot of, Matt. Yeah, um, I mean, no, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Screen. So it just fits right, you know, snaps right in the hand. Um, actually, did you get know, the swords? Uh, I I traded a figure, so I got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what he packed in. Oh, so okay. we could we could I could do a live unboxing right now. Live unboxing. Beep, 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 so. beep, beep, yeah. Beep. While you do that, I'm gonna go look for my bag yeah. of stuff. Well, I did. I got a uh, a fire okay. sword. That's what I have. Yeah, I got oh. two of those. Yeah. For a second, when you held that up, I thought it was like tempura shrimp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, <don't. laughs> I wouldn't put cool. that in your mouth, by the way. Yeah, don't eat that. Why? What could? Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I got, a, and a, it looks like a blue fire sword. Um, oh, sweet! Oh, nice. So there you go. That is uh, tempura chicken. By the uh, way, four feathers is is in the chat. You got oh, to see four him feathers! In, What's in, going uh, on? 
What's up, Four uh, Feathers? Why am I saying Legion's Con in Toy Con? Because we're talking about Legion's Con. Um, yeah. These, like, just different effect pieces that go around the wrist and start. Yeah. So I'm trying to see if I got a character around me that could use these. Uh, uh, how about Bishop? Bishop should. Bishop should work. That would be good Bishop's, for Bishop. Bishop's got magic powers, right? Somewhat. So, so there you go. Uh, to Amigos is saying Decon is going to be November 15th to the 17th. Uh, that's, that's still pretty close to Thanksgiving. That might right? be like seems more seems more doable the brink of whether or not I could do it or not. Like so. where where did is this just gonna did they say we're gonna be in Vegas? Like is it at a convention center out there? Or like a lot of those hotels have enough space to you know, they have like their own little convention areas too. I have no idea. I could lie to you and say it's gonna be at the uh, Glitter Gulch. Uh I don't know. You know what's cool <laughs> in Vegas? Is there's a there's a, a hotel and casino called Treasure Island, yes. and they have a whole Avengers exhibit. Oh, and really? It's, yeah, it's a walkthrough, and they have props from the movies. Like they have the um, the thing that Vision was created in is in there, and like oh. uh, Captain America's motorcycle, the and like, a thing? bunch of the costumes. It's really cool. Like they did a really nice job of like displaying everything, and then. It's interactive, and you can take a lot of cool pictures. It's pretty neat. Right. Uh, Cheney is saying the World Market Center. Okay, where it's going to be. So, uh, you know, between two sentinels, come for come for the fun and stay for the information as we continue to give out information on on events that are happening. Yeah, that's what we're all The cradle, uh, the cradle. Oh, that what uh, Vision was made into. I'm just like trying to think. Yeah. Of, what's the cradle? So, uh, oh, I was thinking like, what building is the cradle? Yeah, <laughs> and Rick Jones says R.I.P. Bishop's mullet. Um, they never gave that a backstory. I wish they did. He got a haircut. He came it's because what does he need a backstory for? He he's got a haircut. He was in the 1990s. He, they had we've talked about this. They don't have barbers in the future. That's why everyone's oh, got right. long hair. So a mullet, he got a haircut. Though. He had a well, well you know. Oh, it makes sense. Like, right? It's the future. You're fighting for your lives. You're not going to take time off to get a haircut. Yeah, he's going to let. He's going to. He's going to be a shaggy, a shaggy gentleman. Yes. A shaggy gentleman. You're going to do what you can. You're going to cut it with a knife while you're sitting there, waiting to find out if Skynet's going to come get you and you're saving <laughs> John Connor. I don't. I don't know. Where, where are we? What is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the flaming sword has a dragon head on it. Apparently, Toy Chase says I have to take that out of the bag again. So. Uh, they don't have barbers, but they have what? Soul. Soul. Glow. Soul. I don't know what Soul Glow is. Did I miss that? I missed something. It's uh, yeah. it's from Coming to America. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that boy's good. Good. He's real good. Good, but he's yeah. terrible. <laughs> uh, yet Forge's stash is always quite proper. That's his mutant power. That's his mutant power. Cap lives. He uh, Forge. He can make trimmers. Can, he make. He can. He can keep his stash evenly cut. And make any machine he wants. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, go. We spent too much time together. I guess you know it's a uh, mind meld is happening right now. Um, and so <laughs> I do have, you know what? I do owe, um, I do owe. Go figure. Go a shout out. He gave me a uh, a prop that I currently cannot find. So to go, <laughs> I apologize <laughs> tremendously. I usually am prepared for these shows. Well, you did. I don't know what you happened. Did, you did work it today. From I did go to work office. today, so you know, uh, there's that. But uh, all right, Rick. So you're going, you're going to WonderCon. You may make it out to. Uh, it's, trying to maybe, keep this, maybe maybe keep this straight on track though. here. <laughs> you will be there for Comic Con, so that's good. Yeah. So and uh, you guys this are year coming, we will, right? We're coming, we... and we have passes. We have passes this time. Nice. So we'll, we we'll be allowed inside. Book... We didn't book our flight yet, did we? We didn't book our flight or a hotel room. So, well, I just booked my is... hotel for next week in Canada, so we're on oh, brand yeah. right now. Yeah, we're on brand. I, th okay. I thought Monty's going to be like, I already booked my hotel, Jay. Uh, yeah. I don't know yeah. Doing. Good luck. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, bucking in. I'm sleeping in Rick's truck after he saves Ernie <laughs> from whatever the next thing is. So, um, Toy Amigo says, no wonder con for me. Sorry, man. Sorry. No oh. wonder con for us. So, you yeah. know, we can, we can jump Easter. on a stream and 
and bitch about it. Um, it is Easter. That's true. It is Easter. So uh, it's Easter and it's a full moon. So you know what that means, right? The 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 Easter Bunny turns into a werewolf, like he's a werewolf. Where Jesus? Ah, no. So um, <laughs> I said that to my kids, and my son went, "Really?" And I was like, "Yep." Tell your teachers that. So. <laughs> and then you get a phone call. <laughs> and then I get a phone call. <laughs> Um, I didn't tell him that. I told him something else. <laughs> Rick, I remember on one of the one of the streams with Wade, you guys were talking about like uh, maybe setting up some kind of stream where you talk about taking the shots, like like a walkthrough. Yeah, yeah. I that, yeah. Uh, we were talking about um, not this last stream we did with uh, with all of us, but the one before, mm -hmm. and that was after I did the one on one stream with Wade. We were kind of talking about you know that idea. Um, I think we still we still want to do it. I think we just got to get together and figure out a way to make it happen. But essentially, the idea would be like you know you get like three or four photographers on there, have you know maybe them talk about their idea and then mm -hmm. show them setting up the shot, taking the picture, and then uh, I think Wade said once the picture's taken, he could you know we post it and then he'll bring it up on the screen and kind of show all three and you know just kind of I like that, that idea. I, yeah, because I I think like. Yeah, and I used to do this too early on. Is a lot of people will try to assemble um, uh, an environment based on what their eyes are seeing, and mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times that you, you can assemble something through the viewfinder, and it's a great picture and it makes sense. But then when you stand up and look at what you've set up, it hasn't. It makes no sense at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's yeah. like the perspectives and you know things that are layered in that help. So. I think that's that's a cool idea because I think that's that's probably something that some people don't pick up as as often or as quickly, you know. Right. And then yeah. utilizing, you know, okay, what's the appropriate way to do the cropping and the rule of thirds and and so on and so forth. So I think it'd be a cool thing to do. I mean, um, I'm always down to help you know, people if they have questions, and it could be with anything, like you know, it could be a photo shot um, or a picture, uh, toy shot, um, you know, a mod or whatever, you know. I'm all for it. You know, it just makes it more fun. Yeah. So, and it's cool when somebody takes a shot and then like they're, they're really working on um, their craft and then they send you something. I've had this a couple times and they send you something. I'm like, nailed it. That's the one, you know, and they get all hyped up and stuff. I can't wait to post it. That's the fun bar, right? You can't wait yeah. to post it. And then they get the responses and, you know, comments and people reposting in their stories. So yeah, just, just, uh, it'd just be a fun thing to do. Yeah, because uh, Jay Shot and I, we we do the same. Like when we're taking a shot, we'll we'll send each other like our what we're working on, and then ask for feedback, right? Yeah. Sometimes yeah, we'll yeah. even be on the phone while setting it up. Like I'll yeah. I'll help Jay Shot out with like, what do you need for the lighting, or maybe this guy's poses off a little bit, fixing the composition, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm and I'm think, gonna do good. I was gonna say at first you used to send me the shots and then you would take them down. Oh yeah, and no, then you learned don't yeah. take them down until you, you no. hear from me. No, no. Now I'm gonna wait. Uh, now I'm gonna wait. Um, but I I am gonna do this, and then you know this is not you know you're talking about how you helping me with shots and everything. Um, and uh, Rick, I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, this is my latest shot with the Mezco boys. Um, and dude, like the way that you helped me get this shot out. And what I I only bring this up because you helped me with this. This is as of right now the highest liked photo I've ever gotten in the two three years of toy photography I've done. It is currently sitting at nine hundred and ninety likes. Wow! I have nice. yet yet to break a thousand. Let's do and it. I am like I am sitting here like holy effing god. Let's we can do only it right effing, now. Only effing where Jesus. I am gonna break like this is so but. Yeah, dude, you're you you know the 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 tips you gave me on lighting for this were were great. And by the way, there's also this like you know this thing where when you like you go back and forth about something and you see the progression of yourself and what you like, right? Like mm -hmm. Matt didn't really give notes on posing, and I was like, holy shit, Matt didn't give me notes on posing. That means my well, posing's yeah. getting I mean, better. You yeah. know, it was just so, like you just got to bring them out more, right? Yeah, yeah. So. But that's what I mean. Like you see yourself get better and better with stuff. So mm -hmm. um, again, not bringing this up for like, you know, pity, pity likes and stuff like that. But uh, I was just like super proud as to where, 
this shot has gone. Um, and uh, I realized I was still staring at the screen as I refreshed <laughs> my page to see if they had gotten any more. So, uh, but yeah, dude, this has been like, make it's it been happen. fun. Just, just fun. Just checking. To be like, I have, oh, uh, I'm going to bring a thousand. I, so, for the record, I had uh, already liked it. So I thank you. I appreciate that. Sure, <laughs> so, I want to make sure you know that. Uh, oh. I'm I horrible. That. I forgot. I'm to like doing it. my part. <laughs> I ain't doing fucking shit. I ain't doing shit. fucking shit. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't do shit because I forgot yeah. to like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Uh, Mario has joined 796 Studios and has Subway. Sorry I'm late. Bearded sucks. That is all. Fair. Uh, um, there he is. Getting help, getting help with from others while still working on the picks is the best way to learn 100%. Yeah. Hundred percent, and I think that is the key, right? Like it's still set up; you could still move things around. It's not like you know, I took it down already, and you got to go back, and it's like you can't mm-hmm. do anything about it. Um, I totally get that. So I, I totally get it too. Like there's yeah. like been shots where, speaking of Mario, like I would send, <laughs> I would send him my shot, and then he'd be like, "Dude, you got to fix your lighting," and I'm like, "Dude, I got to, I got to go to a party right now." Yeah. <laughs> So I ended up not going to that party and redoing the whole shot. Well, I, I, was, I thought you were going to say like you sent it to him. And then, you know how like it it uh, it shows you when someone's read the, the message and they yeah. just didn't reply. Oh, no, no, no. no. I mean, sometimes he does that. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Like, wait, that's why, that's why I only booked my hotel he today. <laughs> He's just waiting just to be safe. Just calling and texting him, I'm like, we gotta book our hotel, man. Canada's yeah. next week. <laughs> um, Dom says my highest like post is uh, has like a hundred, and it's a picture of a Mezco box. It's not even the figure inside, dude. I that there's no rhyme or reason. I will never forget ever. Matt being super pissed at like a hand pick he put up, and it got like 1,700 likes, and he's like, I can't believe you got 1,700 likes. <laughs> Dude, it happens like that. Sometimes. Oh, sorry, seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand. It's like it's just a hand pick. <laughs> like sometimes, you, like you'll take something super, like in your mind, you feel like it's basic, mm-hmm. and you're like, I'm gonna post this, and then it, it blows up, and then something you spent time on, you took fifty different shots to get everything right, and you're like, uh, two hundred and twenty, and you're like, that, you know, <laughs> it just goes, it just goes that way sometimes. Yeah. A lot of the times, it's because we're aiming towards a niche too yeah while a hand pick is a very broad audience because a lot of people have hands that's why yeah a lot, a lot of people, people have hands, hands yeah. and that's there's true. a lot more toy collectors than there that's are true. toy photographers that's true it's a lot more people with hands than there are toy collectors too so mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. 796 defending himself picks. saying oh f- feet picks holding figures Bare feet holding a figure up might be a new thing might be a new thing <sighs> my feet uh, aren't that pretty enough well, let's I gotta go it. for a pedicure. Go, go for a pedicure. God, you go for a pedicure and you can write it off as a work expense. Thank you. There you go. Uh, seven nine six defending himself, saying he's never left you on red. Just saying. Oh, you. No, he's no, never he left you on red. So, um, <laughs> hand posing seems pretty accessible because it's still clearly a toy. That's fair too. I get yeah. that. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, I get that. So, have you? Um, like, uh, what do you guys think about when people just post like stuff on a shelf? I mean, it's fine with me as long as the yeah. shelf is nice, nicely displayed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna judge the their carpentry action. for sure. Yeah, judge their carpentry skills. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is I mean, there's dust? nothing. There's... Yeah. What? Is it dust? Yeah, the dust. Yeah. Did you not use? Did you not use wood filler? What are you doing? So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do like a good shelfie. I, you know, I don't mind it because I do like to see how people like they display their their figures because right. I think that's pretty yeah. cool because I think we all have a different way of doing it. You know, some people use bookshelves or detoffs mm-hmm. or you know uh, yeah. stuff they mount. You know, it's just so or or it's a bunch of those things all together. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, don't forget to treat your shelf. With mm-hmm. D Blake makes signs, so there's I'll your natural you plug-in. You like what I did that's there, a, right? That's yeah. such a good catchphrase, right? It is. It really is. Treat your Treat shelf. Your shelf. Treat your shelf. So. Treat your shelf. Uh, Plasti has the solution. He says broader audience D picks. A lot of people have them, and most of the people who don't have it, and also tend also a lot. Uh, yeah, 
Um, hey, you know, Plasty, I think you should start and uh, let's see how it goes. We'll all follow suit and then we'll be like, we'll be like, you know, this uh, this D pick from Plasty is four Plasty head smooth. Um, so, yeah. You know, it's a it's a quarter Danny DeVito long and it's four, four Plasty head smooth. <laughs> a quarter Danny DeVito long. <laughs> Anything but the metric system, Plasty. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Dom says on Friday, as I usually do, phone it in Friday, just a simple phone pick of a finger pose on my desk. It was meant as just to encourage people to do, dude. I love when you do phone it in Fridays because I also love when usually a phone it in Friday has a uh, a picture of the Nature Valley box. Um, so you know, I think, uh, I think that, that that's good too because, like, you're, you know, so many times when we're like trying to stack things up, you just grab whatever you have. Right, and that's how the yeah. the nature the Dom the Nature Boy started was because of that. So you, you you're know. giving him the nickname, the Nature Boy. Yeah, the Nature Con. I named the Nature Boy. I named the Mayor. I'm just I'm naming everybody here. Uh, Plasio says, "Treat your shelves." Sounds like Sean Connery's Scotch yeah. commercial. Treat your shelves. Treat your treat your shelves. <laughs> Don't forget to treat anal, your shelves. Anal bum cover. <laughs> I've been trying right. to develop a, a, a anal bum cover for years. My only regret I, is I never made one. <laughs> when I get home from a good Friday of work, I put on my favorite anal bum cover <laughs> and I pour myself a scotch and treat my shelves. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What is happening? These last few episodes, oh. man. Crackhead energy, anal bum covers. Who's to say I've already started the dough? All right. Well, then we got to call it out, Plasty. What, Pla uh, Plasty, what IG account is that? Yeah. <laughs> do, I, do you take subscribers? It's Plasti Adito with uh, a big D instead of the little lowercase D. Uh, Rick on streams two days in a row. He's a man of the people. You are a man of the people, Rick. You are a man of the people. I love that. I love that. And Toy Chase did get his mayor sash this weekend. Uh, Machu and I will be working on his mayor top hat to fully complete his uh, his toy mayor outfit. So D picks, but it can only be 118 scale. <laughs> One sixteenth for Mario. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you have to put, uh, you have to put it up next to a Marvel Legends handgun for scale. Yeah, <laughs> Marvel Legends handgun. <laughs> Red I'll just check in. You are late. You missed everything. Uh, hashtag sexy sash. Uh, go watch the replay, uh, <laughs> Red, and message us because uh, you know I'll give you a hint. It's not mentioned. <laughs> Damn, it. I can't. We're God done. Damn. Give the outro. It's over. <laughs> Oh god! Wait, really? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. <laughs> that would have been funny if you did it. You he, just meant, like, yeah. he, meant mil he meant millimeters. Millimeters, <laughs> millimeters, extra small meters, extra small meters. Oh, um, all right, Rick. But yeah, dude, like uh, you know, we're 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 starting to push our time. Um, but uh, you know, we got lots of other. Sh you know, want to make sure we we be respectful to you and and everybody else out there. We got toy daddies that are going to be on with TVC top ten. You've got Ernie. Uh, the fallen fet who is probably already on. Uh, so go check them out. Um, uh, but uh, Rick, dude, I, a I'm sorry about the traffic, man. Uh, no, I really am. Yeah. But uh, I'm thankful for the time you got to spend with us. Um, you know, and uh, and you're you know you're more than welcome to invite yourself back on whenever you want. So <laughs> if you need me, just call me. Just call you. Yeah, <laughs> I just I just beep you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The Rick signal. Uh, the Rick I'll signal. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so you, you're on last night. You're on tonight. When's your next stream going to be? When are we? When when are we going to see Ooh. you again? Well, we were supposed to do a continuation of Snack Migos tomorrow. So I don't know if, if that's still up. Oh I my may, god, are we? <laughs> I may I be forgot about in. That. Talk about okay. treats. Yeah. Uh, outside yeah. of that, uh, probably the next Wade stream, which is the first Tuesday of every month on on Parallels channel and um yeah that's that's gonna be the next one i guess if we don't do cool. snack migos all right and uh if you if you aren't go and check out art with toys youtube channel make sure that you're following him check out his latest uh ninja turtle mezco turtle review it was amazing dude again i can't i can't say enough about it It was so good i learned things i cried i laughed you know uh it's a it's a it's a wonderful hour and it doesn't feel like an hour dude like that's the other thing like you know you just you're going, you're even the whole time. Like I'm invested. It was perfect. Um, hey, but, uh, that. but yeah, dude. So I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, 
Uh, Plasti giving you uh, the, the the stars, calling you the general. We've got the smooth millimeters from Plasti. I think Plasti, that might be your nick your nickname. Smooth millimeters. Smooth um, millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna give a shout out to Adam who joined us earlier today, uh, doing his best Rick impression. So I think hey, the next move, yeah. Just so everyone knows, if I go back and watch the, the Adam's impression of me and it's bad, he will catch a stone cold stunner tomorrow. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. I was gonna say the next the next thing to do is to have you and Adam on as each other. Oh, I like that. So, like that, you know, yeah. well, I think that'll be maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll do some crazy stuff here for uh uh what you call it uh <laughs> for episode nice. Um <laughs> so check out check us out in a couple episodes we'll see what we're going to bring. Classy man, I keep trying to end the stream and you're like bringing stuff up. He's like, "Damn, Jay's, Jay's made that Rick review sound better than Rochelle Rochelle." <laughs> <laughs> Between two ricks. All right, that's, that's a, it. That's a Seinfeld uh, reference. <laughs> show, Rochelle. That's it. It's over, guys. It's over. Appreciate you for coming, Rick. Thank you so much. Appreciate all of you watching. Go be proud of yourselves. Go make some content. And Machu, cue that outro. <laughs>